Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to create uh, polygons other than a square or a rectangle. So up here we've got our rectangle tool. If we left click and hold, we get these other options. So I want to look at the polygon tool. All right, so if we come over to our page and we just click left click once, then our polygon polygon options come up. So you can make the radius anything you want. I'm just going to make it 20. Actually, let's make it, yeah, 25. All right. If I want a triangle, obviously I want three sides. Now, this is going to create um, a regular polygon. So all the sides will be the same length. Okay. So let's click that. And then I've got my equilateral triangle my regular polygon with three sides. All right, let's do another one. So click again. This time I want a five-sided shape, so a pentagon. Click again. I want a six-sided shape, a hexagon. Click again. Seven-sided shape, heptagon. Click again, octagon, and so on. All right, so in Illustrator, it's very simple to create regular polygons which is very useful for when you're doing tessellations. Okay, let's have a look, or let's focus on our triangle. So bring your triangle down into the page. We're going to make that um, tessellate. Now, I don't know the exact length of this triangle. I could look up here, and it says that it's got a width of 43 and a height of 37.5. So I could use those dimensions if I wanted to. Another way to tessellate is to use your cursor to move the shape. So first of all, let's just zoom in a little bit. So remember we hold down control and plus to zoom in. All right, now with my mouse, if I hover over the shape, you can see that it selects it when it's on top of the shape. So in Illustrator, Alt, the Alt button on your keyboard is the one that you want for copying. So if I hold down Alt and I go over here, you can notice that there's now a double arrow. So that means it's going to duplicate the shape. So if I hold down Alt, click and drag, and I want to line it up with the previous triangle. Let go, and my shape's been duplicated. Remember how to duplicate? Hold down Control, press D, and it repeats the previous action. So there's my triangle. All right, if I want to insert the triangle, to fill this empty space here, then I'm going to need to rotate that triangle or reflect it. So I'm going to select this triangle here, I'm going to right click, transform, and I'm going to reflect it. So it asks me if I want to reflect it vertically or horizontally. If I reflect it vertically, it's going to look exactly the same. If I reflect it horizontally, Okay, previews ticked, so it shows me what it's going to look like. That's what I want it to do, so I'm going to copy that. Then I'm just going to drag it into place. All right, so I'm now going to copy that shape into the other spaces. So hold down Alt, hover over the shape, and drag to the next position. Okay, release, hold down Control, press D for duplicate, and I'll duplicate my pattern. All right, if we want to repeat that pattern down the page, so I'm just going to get rid of that triangle there. Repeat that down the page, select everything, hold down Alt, and drag down. All right, and you want to line it up so that it looks like a tessellation. All right. Again, I'm going to select everything. Oh, I don't want to select that. Oh, just another little tip. If you've accidentally selected something that you don't want, if you hold down the shift button and click on that shape, it will deselect it. So shift is how we select multiple items. If I hold down shift when I press things, so I'll hold down shift now, select that triangle, that shape there, and that shape there and then I can move them. See how it just moves those three shapes that I've selected? All right, I want to undo that, so Control-Z. 
Alright, so I want to select all of these triangles and I'm going to hold down Alt and I'm going to move the shapes down, line them up and there's my tessellation. Let's just zoom out a little bit so you, you can see it better. Control duplicate is going to keep duplicating that pattern so I get this really nice tessellation. Okay, let's leave that one there. So what I want you to do is go and try that tessellation yourself.